Hey guys and welcome to a Beast Swarm video on Mimin channel. So guys, if you don't know, in Beast Swarm, I'm pretty poggers of the game. JK, I'm not even that great. I've got the Spirit Petal Collector. Don't click on my bees. I've got the Honey Mask. I've got the Honey Belt. I've got Zimondo Boots, I think they're called. I've got the Porcelain Backpack. I just got the Petal Dipper, by the way, and I also just got the Honey Wand. Um, this is my hive. I did get, I do have a Mythic Bee, and the Mythic Bee was from... Royal Jelly, I got very lucky, in 25 Royal Jelly, not 25,000, in 25 Royal Jelly, I got my boy, I got my boy Fuzzy, um, which is apparently the best mythic as well, so I got very lucky there, um, but what we're we doing today, this might be a bad video for you guys, for you pros out there, but I'm telling you, all the ways to get mythic eggs in Beast Swarm Simulator. So mythic eggs are quite hard to get. I haven't even got one yet. Um, there's quite a few ways. Some of them are rare. Some of them are quest related. So let's start with number one. Probably the, one of the easiest ways to get it. Black Bear's quest line. Now if you complete all of Be Black, Bear's, blah, 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 Black Bear's quest line. You will get yourself a beautiful mythic egg. I'm quite far off of it. I'm like seven quests off of it. So I'm not going to get that anytime soon. But um, it's a very, it's probably one of the easiest ways to get it, as I said, without getting extremely lucky. All right, next is Brown Boy, Brown Bear over here. Um, Mr. Brown Bear, if you do a hundred of his quests, they progressively get harder. If you do a hundred of them, he will give you a mythic egg. Uh, now they're really starting to ramp up for me. Obviously, uh, the one that I've got right now isn't that bad. Eight million from co uh, coconut, but I, I can't beat the coconut crab, so it's it's actually kind of hard because I. It, uh, without with the co it's only with my collector I can collect this because uh, my bees are attacking the coconut crab, which is really annoying. Let's summon a sprout. Why not? Let's do a little summon of the sprout. A gummy sprout. I'll definitely be snagging that later. Actually, it's not gonna last for that long. Um, guys, I'll be back when this gummy sprout is gone. The sprout's about to pop, and three, two, one. The sprout has popped, and I can get lots of gum drops and glue from this sprout. It's pretty good. You always want to. Uh, get a gummy sprout when you see one. Gummy sprouts are very poggers. Hopefully we get a glue. I don't. Oh no, I did get a glue. Uh, just looking on the side here, and it, it hasn't loaded in yet. There we go. One glue from sprout. Let's go. We got a glue. Oh, there's a glue right there. I don't think I got that one. But yeah, this sprout can spawn uh, glue, glitter, and um, and gum drops, of course. So we got quite a few uh, gum drops and that, quite a, quite a bit of glue. It was it wasn't that bad. It wasn't too bad. Anyway, let's move on to the next way to get it. We've gone over black bear and brown bear. Let's go up to memory match. It I, they would be very lucky if it happened right now because I have I haven't actually done it yet. Um, but the memory match can give you a mythic egg. Oh, I I have done it. Never mind. Two hours until I can do it again. This can give you a mythic egg. It's very rare, but it can give you a mythic egg. Also, I'm pretty sure the one up there can. The one uh, that you need to get up there with the knights. Night, the moons which appear. I'll show you. Right now, there's like little moons that appear at night time. Um, and if you, yeah, I love these. These, these appear at night time. You can go up there and there's a match, uh, match up there thing. The match, even match thing up there. Um... Next way is from Big Boy Mondo Chicken. We still have 15 minutes till Mondo Chicken even spawns, so we've got no chance of catching that on camera. But Mondo Chicken can give you um, a star treat and, or like, I mean, imagine if you get star treat and a mythic egg in one, uh, and and a mythic egg, which is really good, really good. Let's. I'm just defeating my fourth mantis for this polar bear quest quickly. Um, it's just really good, but it's also pretty damn rare. And if you get one, definitely flex to your friends about it. Alright, die Mantis, die. Thank you, Mantis, die. <laughs> By the way, guys, I really recommend getting Vicious Bee as fast as possible. Vicious Bee has just changed this game for me. Um, okay, next. Next method is from Commando Chicken. So, get... Okay, okay, let me teach you how to get into that area, though. I need to teach you. So I'm pretty sure it's these. You're pretty sure you need these scissors here. Equip these scissors. Or if it's not those scissors, it's the clippers up there. Um, I don't quite remember what they are. It's either the, 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 the scissors up there or the scissors down here. Go over here. There should be some vines. Cut down these vines and go through this tunnel. Some funky music starts playing. And then 
boom, this guy spawns. He won't have a hundred thousand health for you, but every time he captures, like every time you kill him, he respawns every thirty minutes. He gets, he gives better rewards, but he takes way longer to kill. And this guy's gonna take a while to kill if I want to kill him. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna back out because I think I'll need someone to help me kill those. Because unless I use stingers, it's gonna be pretty hard. Okay, the last, well not the last method, um, but the, there's one method after, but you know, you gotta use Robux for that method. This method is, if you already have three mythic uh, bees, go over here, or if there's someone in your server, tell them to summon a mythic meteor shower, and each meet, meteorite, meteorite, each thing that's, each comet or whatever it is, each thing that that falls from the sky has a very small chance of giving you a mythic egg but it's still a chance so it's always worth if someone's spawning one of those it's always worth trying because you can get some really nice rewards from it also there's a spider in my face go away spider how many tickets from the you one ticket not too great i've like i think max from spider's 25 which i once got which is very lucky all right nothing really that great from there I already got six sprouts, which I'm saving for when I have a, like a really good boost. Let's just finish off this quest, and then I'll tell you the last one, which I'm sure you already guessed. Um, but you know, all right, the last one is go to the shop, scroll down, mythic egg, one thousand two hundred robux, always hatches into a random mythic bee. Limit per player, free. You can only get free per player, so you want to be very, very um, careful and. Uh, Make sure you actually. What, what am I on about? You don't want to be careful. It's, it's fine. It's it's, it's robux. It's, but you want to get. You want to try and get like. If you're gonna buy all three of them, you want to try and get lucky and get all three mythics. Because there's three. No, there's four mythics going in the game. So you want to get at least. You want to get three different ones, really, probably. Unless you're like some kind of. Unless you're red hive and you want full spicy, or you're a white hive so you want full vector. But um, I got. I I've only got fuzzy, right? Um, but I hope the next one I get is either spicy. Vector or tadpole. Obviously, those are the last ones left. But if I get another spice, if I get another fuzzy, I'm not too mad because two fuzzies. You can't go wrong with two fuzzies. Um, but guys, that's basically the end of the video. There's nothing really else for me to do apart from like showcase my hive, maybe use some royal jellies. I have one royal jelly. Let's loot. Okay, guys, another tip. Let me just buy like, let me just buy like um, a few royal jellies just so I can show you this tip a bit better. Let's kill the scorpions as well. Let's run through. Come on, bees, kill the scorpions. Alright, it's got impaled. There we go. Boom. Easy kills. And then we go up here to the Royal Jelly Dispenser. Open shop. Okay, and we go here. Let's just buy 10 Royal Jellies, right? So, with these 10 Royal Jellies. So, say if you, say if you want to use your Royal Jellies, but say I use it on this baby bee, and then I end up with a rad bee. I'm like, oh, and now I'm back a rad bee. Use it on, say, see this crimson bee here? Use it on an event bee. There we go. Auto Jellies on. <laughs> we got a red, uh, we got a red legendary. Nice. Anyway, we don't want that, so we replace the red legendary again with the crimson bee, and we've lost nothing. All we've lost is our jellies. We didn't lose, like, a really good thing that we want to, to keep, right? Um, also, I'm trying to get this guy mutated without using the neon berries but I can't seem to do it also maybe I can get fuzzy gifted with these 20 no I can't damn it anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe do all that stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye